the Supplemental Instruction Series of Videos for Chemistry 121. And today we'll be discussing electron configuration. Configuration? That's right. They got a configuration? Yep, they're put together in a certain way. Wow, no kidding. Mm -hmm. I'm Joey Smoking. And we'll be discussing this topic with you today. Periodic table. Right. Are we going to be using this? We are going to be using this. Cool, so it's not just a decoration this time. Nope. Though it does make a lovely decoration for any wall in your house. This is true. All right. So, electron configuration is essentially a roadmap for electrons, how they're put into energy levels in atoms. Okay, that makes sense. So it's kind of like helping to describe the structure yes. and stuff. So, let's start with an example of an electron configuration. Alright, and that is the electron configuration for oxygen. Okay, that doesn't make any sense at all. Don't worry, it will soon. Okay. Now, as you may remember from the orbitals video, you may want to refer back to that, uh, the periodic table is divided into energy levels. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, so each period has its own level. These levels are also called shells. Mm -hmm. Now, as you may also remember, the shells are divided into what are called subshells. S, P, D, and F. S, P, D, F. Yeah, that's right. They represent blocks on the periodic table. Okay. All right. Now, as you can see here, these numbers correspond to the energy levels. Oh. So, for example, this is in the first energy level, this is in the second energy level. Okay. That's right. And, of course, these letters just mean, you know, what subshell it's in. Oh, okay, so 1s means 1s here. Yes. 2s is 2s here. Mm -hmm. And then 2p, would that be 2p over here? That's right. Oh, okay. And then these number, these little numbers up here tell you how many electrons there are in the subshell. Oh, okay. And that makes sense because when we think about it, the s orbital basically holds 2, mm -hmm. you know, the p holds 6, yep. d holds 10, f holds 14. That's correct. Okay. So, I'm kind of getting the idea that you can kind of read the periodic table like a book to make electron configuration. That is right. Ah, okay. So, would this be 1s1? Right. Okay. And helium is basically considered over here. Yeah. Okay. Even though it's all the way over there. So, since this basically represents the second electron, that's 1s2? That's right. Okay. And then we come down basically to the next energy level. Mm -hmm. So, this is 2, still mm -hmm. s. So, 2s1. Yep. That makes it 2s2. Right. Okay, then we're going over to 2p, which is here. Mm -hmm. So 2p, let's see, we go four spots. One, two, three, four. That's oxygen. That is right. Hey, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Now, let's say we have something like, oh, let's say chlorine. Okay. We'll try coming up with the electron configuration for that. Okay, so... 1s2, mm -hmm. 2s2, right? Um, let's see, so this is me 2p, mm -hmm. so 2p6? Yes. Okay. It's all filled. And then we come down here? Yep. So this is 3s2, mm -hmm. to count for those two. And then back over here to yep. 3p. Uh huh. So 3p6? No, oh, wait, not no. Quite. That's all right. Just yeah. kidding. So it'd be 3p5. That's right. Uh -huh. So you would write yeah. out like. P6, 3s2, and then 3p5. Alright. Okay. Now, as you may notice with this, as you go down the periodic table, these can get kind of crazy with their length. Yes, I was going to say. You, you might have an electron configuration that goes all across the board or paper or what have you. So that's why there's a nifty little shortcut called noble gas notation. Oh. And as we all know, I like being lazy. Right. Yes. As do we all. Yes. Now, if you notice this part right here, where you have a P6, mm -hmm. it encompasses this. Right. Now, what is that the electron configuration of? Neon. That's correct. Oh, okay. So, essentially, we can replace all that with the symbol for neon mm -hmm. in brackets to signify okay, we know we have an electron configuration equal to neon in yeah. this, so we'll just say, you know, we already know this and just put neon, because that that's easier. And then it's just 3s2, 3p6, or 5. 5, right. That's See, it. it's easy to do. Yep. Okay, so that's for 
chlorine. Basically mm -hmm. the short way to do it. Yes. Cool. And let's take, let's put the noble gas notation to further use. Let's try, oh, what the heck, we'll try selenium. Selenium, mm -hmm. okay. Ew, that's going to take a while. Yeah. Okay, so can I pick argon for the noble gas? Yes, because, you know, the selenium is close to argon. Basically, it's the yeah. noble gas before the element. Yes, it's the noble gas before the element. That's okay. what you have to look for with noble gas notation. Okay. So, we can start with argon. Okay. Which is a good thing. It'd be really, it'd be fairly long. It would be. All right, now we continue okay. from there. So, let's see. So, the next one, we have the 4S part. Uh -huh. So, 4S2. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have D. Mm -hmm. So, 4D. Uh, what? But... It's in the fourth energy level. However, D is a special case, essentially. Okay. Because even though it is in the fourth period, mm -hmm. it's actually 3D. Say what? Now, it might be a little confusing, but the D subshells are in a much higher energy level than either the S or the P. So, like, the electrons have more energy, basically? Yeah, essentially. Okay. And so... When you have, you know, 4s, you actually drop down to 3d because 3d, the 3d is so much more energetic than either the 3s or the 3p. Mm -hmm. You don't start filling it up until you get to the fourth energy level with the s. Oh, that kind of makes sense, I yeah. guess. So essentially, you know, we have the 4s2 here, mm -hmm. and then we're going to drop back down to the 3d. Okay. By the way, I'm not going to give any examples where you have to fill it in the middle of the 3d because that gets kind of... Confusing. Iffy. Yeah. Okay. So, as you know, we can we know that all the D's are filled. So okay. we know that so so far we have a four S two and a three D ten. ten. Okay. And then for selenium, we want to find selenium. So okay, since just the D is basically dropping down a level, does that mean the P is still at level four? Uh, that's right. Okay. So then it would be four P four. That's right. Ah. Okay. Four P. Now, I could draw it out, the whole thing out on the board, but there's no need to. I don't think you have time yeah, for that. That would take a while. So, yeah, that is essentially the basics of electron configuration. That's pretty neat. And when you look at it, I mean, you can kind of tell, like, where exactly the electrons are. So if you're interested in one particular one, just take a look at it. That's right. And so it's not just a random, you know, smattering of letters and numbers. There's some order behind it. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks, Kevin. That All makes right. a lot more sense. All right. Cool. You're welcome. I'm going to go have some fun with this kind of thing. Yes, so Get better with it. All right. See you later.